Hello everyone, welcome to the Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And I'm gonna give everyone a chance to actually tune in because I am a little later today than I that I that I normally am. But um we're gonna get everybody give everybody a chance to get in. So y'all, it's the countdown steak and blowjob day is almost here. It is almost here. But um I want to talk about these grab bags that I got. And then, of course, y'all know I like to talk about real life stuff because people are always sending me messages about real life stuff. And a lot of times, it's things that I can relate to. So today, we're going to talk about um, he supported you. I thought that was a really good topic. He supported you. And we all know that when we are in relationships, um, engagements, marriages, the one thing that we want to feel is that the person that we would actually supports us and they support our dreams and they don't mind doing certain things to help us get to certain levels. But what happens when we get to certain levels? Because this is something I see a lot from women. We get to certain levels and then all of a sudden somewhere along the lines, we feel like these people are not good enough for us anymore or we feel like they're not leveling up or they're not on our level or they're not motivated enough or ambitious enough or they're not this and they're not that and all of this kind of stuff like that. So I'm talking about this from a certain perspective because I can't tell nobody what to want for themselves. And the thing is we all want better for ourselves, but there's a difference in being content and there's another difference in being complacent. Okay. Um, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. Um, I'm gonna start off talking about the satisfier because I want to get that out the way. This is the satisfier toy. Okay. This is a travel companion, travel satisfier. You see it's real small, great to be able to put in your luggage and all of this kind of stuff. But this is what we would call a throwaway. The reason we would call it a throwaway is because that means that when we finish with it, we can discard it. This is not going to be one that we put batteries in, we recharge or anything like that. Um, because this is only a 90 minute toy. There's a little piece of paper at the back. We pull it and y'all know how it is when you pull it, it operates for so long. And then after a while it goes out and you don't utilize it anymore. This one is four speeds. Okay. So today in the grab bag, and this is the grab bag that it's in. You get the Satisfier Toy, you get Pill Queen, and you get Strawberry Flavor Lubricant for $20, and this is on the website as well. So this is four speeds. There's a button right up under the bottom. We're gonna press it. It's on. Very quiet toy. That means that this is not gonna make a lot of noise, okay? So it's on speed one, speed two, Speed three, speed four. Then we hold it for three seconds, power it off. This is air pulse technology. Imagine a tornado on your clip. Imagine a tornado touching down on your clitoris. Basically what you do is you hold this over the clitoris and I'm gonna use my knuckle as if it's my clitoris, right? You're gonna actually hold this over your clitoris and just let it sit there. And it's gonna basically be a whirlwind on top of the clitoris. Makes you reach your orgasm in 30 seconds or less. This toy is a 90 minute toy, but it makes you reach your orgasm in 30 seconds or less. The reason I opted to do the 90 minute toys is one, we're about to have spring break. So a lot of people are about to be traveling. I don't like traveling with all my good stuff because anything can happen with the luggage and all of this kind of stuff. And I like bringing stuff that I can enjoy for that moment, have a good time with it, dispose of it. Now with 90 minutes coming in 30 seconds or less, you should get a whole lot of good use out of this particular toy. Okay. Now, Oh, waterproof as well. Let me say that it is waterproof. So it'll work great in the shower, but I don't know how well you're going to be able to stand it in the shower if you catch an orgasm in less than 30 seconds. Them knees going to be buckling. So you just make sure that you be careful when you decide you want to use this in the shower. So again, it goes on top of the clitoris. Okay. 
Suppose he in the pussy. I'm going to use another uh, scenario. Suppose he eating pussy. He could be down there eating pussy and he could have this on top of the clitoris the whole time, which means it's a whirlwind going on top of it. There is a satisfied toy that's in a $99 price range. But what companies have realized is sometimes people don't know what type of stimulation they like. So they're creating options like this so that you can see if you actually like Air Pulse technology. If you like it, then you can invest in a more expensive toy that you'll have to be able to use over and over again, okay? So that's how that goes with that. Pill Queen, this is a new enhancer that's out. They sent me two cases of it to be able to give out to my customers. So if you was to buy this, this was gonna be $200 anyway, okay? So we throwing in the free Pill Queen and we throwing in the free lubricant. So now you got a bundle for $20, all right? Now that's in the bundle. Next new we have Make Me Come. Make Me Come was in the whole bags for Christmas. I was waiting on feedback because I put it in there and I said, well, one thing about it, if it worked, somebody gonna let me know that it worked, okay? Because I never used this one. So the lady sent me a message and said, hey, you got any big packs of that Make Me Come or is there a way that I could buy like, because it was little small packs that I had put in the bags. Can I get about a, a dozen of the lip packs or whatever? And I said, well, I was waiting on some feedback before I order it because I need to know how you like it. She said, I have, I had a hysterectomy. She said, that make me calm, woke my body all the way up. She was like, it had me all over the place. I need that. So what I did was I ordered some more of it. So ma'am, and I'm actually inbox you as well to let you know that it came in. But I did order the Make Me Come, so we're gonna actually carry it here in the store. It's $15.99. And you only need a dab on the finger, a dab on the clip. That's how they work, a dab and a dab. All right, you ain't gotta be squeezing out all a whole lot of it, a dab and a dab, all right? Make Me Come. So, let's get into this real life stuff because y'all done came on the live. When I met Spencer, this was during a time when neither one of us had nothing. Okay, when I say had nothing, I mean we didn't have nothing. Um, the agreement was I go to college. When I finish, then he goes and pursue whatever it is that he wanted to do. That's what we did to be able to help ourselves. Now, sometimes when we go, depending on what we're going for, what we do, sometimes women are in a position where they make more money than the man. Even after they everybody completed their school and the woman makes more money than the man. But I don't understand why some women really have an issue when they make more money than the man that they're with. Money does not determine if a person is worthy. If my husband sacrificed, meaning I went to school, we threw suppers, sold chitlins, dice parties, all of this kind of stuff to help me get through school with financial aid. And if you know anything about it, sometimes you exhaust all your aid before the year is out and then you don't have enough to be able to cover summer school and May Mesta and all of this kind of stuff. And guess what? My husband got out there and helped me get that money to pay that tuition. My husband picked the children up for school and when I came home in the evening time, I didn't have to do anything because he cooked for them and bathed them and Oh, uh, did homework with him and all of this kind of stuff. I graduated before he did, meaning that I started seeing more money early on in the relationship before he started seeing more money. Because when he went to school, he got a job, but then his school required him to go back to school for like another four years. So he has like about six years of schooling in commercial air conditioning. Because even after he completed trade school, they made him go back to school again in order to be able to make top dollar. Why is it that we throw people to the side when we feel like we got to list up? Make me understand that. Somebody get on this live and you talk to me and make me understand. Because what a lot of people don't understand is when I graduated, I graduated with a lot of debt. He graduated with little to no debt because his company went back and paid a lot of that tuition. 
And then when they sent him to school, they covered it themselves. They didn't, he didn't have to go take out no loans or nothing when he went to their school. So I'm saying all that to say, I see a lot of women, they, they get foolish. They get a couple of letters behind their name and then they get foolish. And they decide that these people that have been with them, that rolled the fucking wave with them, that they help put them in the position that they in, all of a sudden they ain't no good no more. But he supported you. But all of a sudden now he ain't worth, he ain't good enough. Suppose he a man like my husband decided to go back to school, but suppose a person helped you pursue your dream, but they okay with their job that they go to work to every day, but you making more money than them. I'ma just say you might make seventy thousand dollars a year, and they may make thirty to forty thousand dollars a year, and you making maybe twenty thousand dollars more than them. Why is it all of a sudden that they ain't good enough for you or they ain't on your level or matching this and that the other because they not making what you make? I need you to understand the wise thing that you can do is say, look, I'm making this 60, 70 and my husband making this 30, but together we making 100. Listen to that. I'm making this 70, he making this 30. But together we making a hundred. I keep explaining to y'all, get out of this individual. This is the reason why a lot of people can't be wives. I'm going to be honest with you. This is the reason why a lot of women don't have rings. Because they don't understand that when you become married, you are a unit. When you become married, you become one. My debt became Spencer debt. My success became Spencer's success. Anything that I do that elevates the family, he is elevated as well. Anything that he does to elevate the family, I am elevated as well. We got to understand that we move together as a unit when we are married. And it ain't no mine and yours. It's ours. And when you start changing your vocabulary and understanding that it's ours, then you'll be a lot better off. Now, I'm not saying that when you bring it in the 70 and he bring it in the 30, he gets to just go spend the whole 100 high. He just feel like he want to spend it. No, because we got to move. We, we have to have wisdom with everything that we do, meaning that we have to sit down and have conversations about how we're going to move forward, what debt we're going to pay off now. What we gonna invest in next? And you gotta understand that every investment don't always bring a return. Sometimes somebody gotta get out there and be the one to take a risk and sometimes it does well and sometimes it doesn't. There have been plenty of risk. I tell y'all all the time about that building that we had down the street, Madison Square, completely exhausted everything that we had worked for. But it was a chance that we were taking. And we went in it together taking this chance. And we lost. But we lost together. It wasn't no point in the finger. You lost and it was your idea and it was your decision. No, who, it don't matter who idea, who decision it is. We agreed upon it. We went in it together. And either we're going to lose together or we're going to win together. You got to stop throwing people to the wayside when you feel like they ain't up on your level all of a sudden. Degrees and all of this shit is good, but that's designed to help better your family. You go, when, when I went and I got a degree, I promise you, it had nothing to do with me. It had nothing to do with me. It had everything to do with putting my family in a better position, including my husband, my family, meaning to be able to put me in a better position for my children and my husband, meaning my family in a better position. I remember when I had Gabby, I hadn't even graduated high school. And I told her, I said, this, I'm going back and get this high school diploma for you. Gabby was my motivation to go back to high school and get my diploma. I went back and got that diploma for Gabby. When I had Taylor, I said, Taylor, this bachelor's for you. When I had Madison, I said, Madison, this master's for you. I need you to understand that a lot of times we do things and it's to help our situation, but it's more so to help our family as a whole. And I want you to understand that your husband is included in that family dynamic as a whole. And just because he may not make what you make,
does not make him any less than a man. And I need y'all to stop that. Okay? Come get y'all grab bags for $20. You all be blessed. You all be safe. You all enjoy your day. Um, I will be going live again on Monday. You all keep me posted with your steak and blowjob. Um, your events for the weekend. If y'all hadn't got with Joanne to order your coochie cupcakes, make sure you go ahead and order them. Make sure you find out how you like this, how this man like his steak cooked before you get to cooking and ordering steaks. Find out how you like a steak cook. If you don't know how to cook a steak, go on YouTube and YouTube it. It ain't hard. You can get that steak right now and start marinating it. Yeah. They got some places you can go and you can get, Amber told me you can get a, a steak that's aged. They got these places where you can go get these big ass steaks aged. Go to the butcher and go and tell them that you want to get a nice steak cut. Get it cut an inch, one inch. Nice thick steak cut. All right? Y'all go ahead and hook it up in the kitchen. And if you ain't got time to hook it up in the kitchen, do like I do and just order it. Order it from somewhere. It, it don't make you no less than a woman because you got to order your steak versus standing over the stove and cooking it. Because it's a lot of things that I have to do for convenience. But all your nasty stuff, come on over here to the PPG store and get it. Um, if you're ordering online, you still got time to be able to get it for the weekend. Okay? Website at the bottom. Instagram at the bottom. Cash app over here on the side as well. If y'all ain't see that video, I don't know who this man is. Somebody tagged him on my uh, Instagram. Big old bitch in a big old house eating a big old dick. Go check that song out. The, the name of the song called Big... Uh, it's, a, it's a big house. Big house something. Find the song. It's on all my pages. I, it, it, got, it's, it, it got a nice little ring to it. But uh, yeah, and he ain't paid me to give him that shout out either. But I like the little song. It's real cute. Make Me Come is in stock as well. You all be blessed. You all be safe. If you like my dress, I got it from Rhythm Boutique. Yes. And this is going to be the last week that I had this dark hair. Just letting y'all know. Crystal, the wedding is this weekend. I can't wait to get this, uh, to get my other wig put back on. I got the lady called Yo Hot Boss. Y'all heard of her? Yo Hot Boss. I think that's how she said it. She got me a, a wig that she making for me. That bitch is bad. It got about five different color blondes in it. I'm talking about it is bad. Bad, baby. It is bad. I can't wait to put that wig on. But anyway, you all be blessed. You all be safe. You all enjoy your holiday. I mean, uh, yeah, your holiday. That's right, because it's Steak and Blow Job Weekend. And um, go get your COVID shot so we can go ahead and turn up this spring. I already got my shot. I get my next shot on the 25th. I ain't had no side effects. So go ahead and get your shot. Take your vitamins. If you're worried about side effects, take your vitamins. Get you some one-a-day vitamins and build your immune system up. All right, child.